this video I'm gonna show the complete makeover of this designer 8 panels anarchically joining in my earlier video I've shown how to design the bodies of Mondrian Stein continuation to that I'll be joining the 8 panels anarchically to these bodies you can see the flatness of each panel having 1 meter so this designer dress is made up of 8 meters fabric as I said I'd be preparing this for the 7 years old girl see the each panel width is having 1 meter so the front is having 4 meters and the back 4 meters total for the completion of this designer dress 8 meters of fabric is required the richness and the beauty lies in this flatness and also I'll be showing how to do the spiral hem to this designer anarchy pattern following this pattern marking your measurements you can create for any ages so let's get started I'll be showing how to mark the measurements and the required measurements to prepare this plate skirt the basic measurements you required is the waist length here I'll be taking 24 inches and preparing for the 8 panels so for each panel length the waist length divided by desired number of panels so here the 24 is the inches of the waist length and 8 panels so for each panel length I'll be taking 3 inches plus half an inch that means quarter inch towards either sides for the seaming elements of each panel here the height is equal to length and I'll be taking 34 inches so as I said I'll be taking 1 meter fabric which is having 39 inches on either sides mark for the 34 inches and towards one corner I'll be marking the waist length of 3.5 inches and I'll connect curved line diagonally from one corner to another corner marking with the dotted lines and the height is connected from waist to floor length that means here I will be taking 34 inches with the seaming elements of waist side and also the bottom of the skirt of 1 inch now supposing this paper is of 2 meters like that you have to collect 8 as we are preparing for the 8 panels so mark towards one corner the base length of 3.5 inches I'm using here the paper scale and towards this corner I'll be marking 34 inches and also opposite to that direction I'm marking 34 inches diagonally connect it with the curved line marking 34 inches this is one eighth part of the waist measurements to floor length now cut on this marked lines now you can see this one panel like this will get 8 panels which is having 1 meter of length this is for up to 10 years of age that means the height of 39 inches you can prepare for 1 meter fabric and let me show you how to calculate for the fabric width to prepare for the skirt Laid floor length skirt as I said 
for below 10 years you can go up to 1 meter fabric for each panel so I will be preparing 8 panels so I took 8 meters fabric and for adults you can take up to 1.5 meters for each panel so total for 8 panels you would require 12 meters of fabric which is 2 saris width and you can easily mark up to the height of 41 inches on this 1.5 meters of fabric which is a normal height of an adult if more than 41 inches you have to join another fabric and for this type of designer ways you have to go with the following fabrics like chiffon, georgette, crepe, laser as I said I would be taking this 8 meters 8 panels I secured with the pins towards the corners and towards one corner I'll be marking the waist length of 3.5 inches on this rectangle and start marking the floor length measurements which is of 34 connecting it diagonally curved line from the waistline now join these dotted lines and mark the semicircle which is one eighth part of the skirt measurements. Now start cutting on this dotted lines and for this eight panels I will be taking two panels of pink and remaining six of black that means two meters of pink and six meters of black as a matching color so see after cutting it would look like this and i'll cut this waistline this chiffon cream georgette is having the length of nearly 46 inches so you can easily mark up to the height of 41 inches which is normal height of an adult now join all the pieces now i'll show how to cut for the lining here i took the width of 15 inches and the length of 34 inches from one corner i'll be marking three and a half inches and opposite to another side down part I'll also mark for the three and a half inches. Now I'll connect these two points diagonally. This lining also I'm taking two pieces of pink and remaining six pieces of black. Now start cutting on this marked lines. And for this lining I'll be using the polyester fabric. I am done with the cutting part, now I will show you how to join these panels and for this pretty part of the skirt I will be using the crepe marble fabrics of two colors start joining the sides of the panels laying right on right and start sewing towards the wrong side laying quarter inch for the same elements like this we have to join eight panels firstly I'll join this pink laying right on right start sewing actual height of my daughter's is 29 inches and as I am preparing this for the floor length I'll be adding three inches extra for that and remaining two inches for the seaming elements following this pattern you can create 
from the length to floor length of any edges. See, I've joined pink two panels towards one side and towards another side I'll be joining with the black laying right on right start joining Like this, join all the panels adjacent to each panel. I'm done with the joining of the panels. So you can see the gear. This is a four panels gear which is a front and towards the back four panels. Now I'll also join the linings as I did for the pretty fabric to prepare the anarchy pattern. Join the eight panels of the sides of the lining. I'm done with the joining of the panels of pretty fabric as well as lining. Now to do the spiral hand towards the bottom hemline, you would require this fishing line to give the curly volume spirally hemline. Take a roller like this and wrap this fishing line. As the fabric as a skirt I took is of 8 meters so nearly 8 meters of fishing line is required doing like this you will get the curly hemline to the bottom of the plaid skirt which will give volume and bouncing look to the plaid skirt this wrapping should be done before the day so that the circles will have the shape of the roller see after joining the panels it would look like this the pretty part of the skirt now I'll show how to join this to the bodies place the pretty part of the bodies on the pretty part of the skirt turn towards the wrong side start sewing towards the waistline connecting the skirt with the bodies Ensure that the sides should match. If 
you are not comfortable directly sewing I would suggest you to secure with the pins then join if you take the perfect sizes or the measurements you will get the perfect shapes when joining Start sewing, leaving quarter inch. Ensure that the underneath fabric is well settled when you are sewing. Overlap the back body so can I strap on the skirt part and join. See this is how it looks after joining the pretty part to the bodies. Now I'll show you how to join the lining. Turn the pretty part of the fabric towards the wrong side of the bodies. Keep the lining inside the bodies. Placing right side of the bodies on the right side of the lining. Start sewing towards the wrong side. joining towards the bodies the other side you should have the skirt with the bodies and inside you should join with the lining start joining ensure that the underneath skirt fabric is well settled when you are sewing like this will conceal the raw edges of the panels of the pretty part of the skirt as well as the lining. Now you can see this is from the outer part and towards the inside you can see how pretty the lining is concealed and I also hemmed the lining bottom line You can see towards the wrong side, see how pretty it is looking, not even a single right line you can see. Now I will show you how to do this spiral hem, I am using this golden silk thread. Place the silk thread on the top and insert the thread in the needle. And inside the bobbin case, I'll be using the normal thread, cotton thread, which is black in color. And I'm also changing this footer using the Pico footer. If 
place the raw edge of the bottom like this and also insert the fishing line and fold a little of the fabric and start sewing here I'm using the gold color silk thread because I used gold tissue to outline the neckline of the mandarin style bodies do it little by little do not stretch the fishing line just run it friendly holding little by little This will really give you the bouncing hemline which will be added the beauty to the garment. With this, I am done with this designer piece of 8 panels anarkali pattern. See how pretty it is looking. The patchwork and the joining of the panels. If you know the pattern, it is on the tip of your fingers to create the wonders. Please try this for your loved ones, they are loved very. This was the most requested video and I would like to dedicate this to my beloved viewers and subscribers on the occasion of this evening and happy that I would be part of them and this is for you all irrespective of religion. You can create the knee length or floor length 8 panels and I can customize the measurements as per the requirement. Please try this and share with your well wishes. May be useful to them. See the curly hemline which will give the designer ready made outlook. Using the fishing line which is very expensive in the market now we can create with the cheap cost ensure that the sides of the bodies should match with the sides of the panel hope you liked watching this video try and share your experience don't forget to like and leave your comments and I wish all the viewers and subscribers Happy Eid Ramadan Mubarak May this festival will give the lots of prosperity, health and happiness For more videos do subscribe to my channel and you can enjoy watching the latest fashions Thanks for watching